All right, now we're doing 7Q color association. This is by No Gain Bar, and 86% of the people like it. Color plays an important role in our lives. Most of us like one color better than another. User experience specialists believe that certain colors have certain psychological meanings for us. We are given a 2D array, and it's going to be composed of a color and its common association in each array element. The function we will write needs to return the color as the key and uh, the association as its value. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get uh, an array that looks like this, or it looks like this here, basically. Uh, and we're going to return, uh, over here we're going to return like array at one, excuse me, array at the current index at one, at zero, uh, colon, array at current index at one. Okay, I'll show you what we're talking, what I'm talking about. All right, first things first, let's declare the old, uh, initial variable, initial value, I should say. So we're going to say let result equal an empty array. And now we're going to say down here, we're going to iterate through this array, the array of arrays. We're going to say for uh, let i equals zero, while i is less than array.length, we're going to say i plus plus, all right? And then after that, what we're going to do is say result, result equals, uh, excuse me, result at the current index equals, um, what are we going to do? We're going to have this, which is array. We're going to have, we're going to have it be like this, array at, uh, excuse me, no, we're doing an object. We're doing an object, and that's going to be array at the current index at zero. And then we're going to have uh, like this. We're going to have um, array at the current index at one. All right. And then we're going to return the result. Let's see what happens. Test it out. Nope. What's the problem? <laughs> Unexpected input. Yeah, that's because we don't have one of these. Which needs to be over here. Test it out. All right, good. Attempt it. All right, and it's one millisecond. Let's see if we can be... <laughs> <laughs> be, or at least get the same as one. All right, so for concise syntax, what we're going to do is we're going to say const here. We're going to do this. We're going to say equals this. Uh, and then we're going to turn all this into an arrow. On the next line, because I don't have much room at all, uh, we're going to say, uh, I'm going to say, you can just keep it on one line, but I'm going to say uh, array.map. And if you don't know what the map uh, method is, it creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So here's the elements in the calling array. Uh, X is going to represent every element in order. So we're going to say 1 times 2, 2. 4 times 2, 8. 9 times 2, 18. 16 times 2, 32. Just like that. And so what we're going to do instead of all that... Uh, Multiplication, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, right here, we're going to say, what are we going to say? We're going to say color, and then we're going to say here, meaning. And then outside of these parentheses, we're going to have an arrow, because that's the syntax right here, something like that. Uh, and then we're going to say object. We're going to say parentheses and then object. And then, like before, we're going to just do color inside of the brackets. And then we're going to say colon meaning. We test it out. And there we go. Attempt it. Three milliseconds. Wow, this is slow. So we're going back to this one.
because this one's the fast one. All right, so test it out one more time. Attempt it. I'm not even going to bother going down. All right, submit it. And very much like this one, let's go to My Solutions. Just a few of us, best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.